I would like to sit down with you with a cup of coffee to discuss a question I've had for about 15 years. Around 15 years ago, I was on the road and I was at someone's house and we were doing some research. And we ran across an interesting book, The Smoke of Satan. Well, I knew immediately I wanted the book because it's a discussion of traditionalism and a broader definition than I use. But one chapter is devoted to traditionalists more strictly, which would they would include the Lefevreites, the Tookites, um, the Kellyites, which uh, that's a Clarence Kelly, who was consecrated by Mendez, uh, the Schuchertites, you know, any traditionalist group. Now, I know they're known by other names, but I'm imposing my own name for the moment. In any case, I ran, when I finally got home, because I called mom and said, I've ordered the book. When the package comes in, open it up. I'm sure you'll find it fascinating, which you did. Well, I get into it, and I get into a quote from the Took Bishop Daniel Dolan, ordained by Lefebvre, consecrated by Took. Some claim I, that's Daniel Dolan, left the Society of St. Pius V because I simply wanted to become a bishop at any price. But this is preposterous. The main reason I left was because of personal conflicts with Father Kelly. He exercised a strong cult-like leadership. He was a bit of Francis Schuchert type, very charismatic and manipulative. And not having a bishop in the society, that is, Society of St. Pius V, made the situation especially taxing. But I certainly wasn't looking to better myself by becoming a bishop. Bishop Piverunus, that's Bishop Mark Piverunus, um, let's see, entered under Schuchart, ordained by uh, Father George Musey, who was a Took bishop, and then consecrated by um, Father Moises Carmona, another Took bishop. Uh, approached me first with the idea, and at first I had serious reservations about the Archbishop took an old Catholic background the Mount St. Michael's community. I don't deny that there have been problems here, but we're not living today under normal circumstances. We're faced with a vacuum of authority. The papacy has been vacant for more than 20 years now, and desperate times call for desperate measures. Our people need to receive the sacraments, and for this they need priests, and it takes bishops to make priests. And this is precisely the role that Bishop Piverunus and myself play. We don't claim to possess any ordinary jurisdiction or the power of excommunication. We have moral authority, but we don't boss people around. We're sacramental bishops, and traditionalist communities simply can't survive for very long without sacramental bishops. You know, when I read this, I was like, what is a sacramental bishop? Now, I thought about this last statement of uh, uh, Dolan's. Traditionalist communities simply can't survive for very long without sacramental bishops. Well, Lefebvre realized that in 88. What did he do to perpetuate the Society of St. Pius X? He consecrated bishops. Now, that same society says the new rite of ordination consecration is valid. He had no business consecrating bishops, in my personal opinion. They could have gone to the Novus Ordo and gotten their priests ordained there. What would have happened, though, let's say Lefebvre died without consecrating a successor. Uh, bishop George Smith, an old Catholic who Lefebvre announced in 78 was his successor bishop, had left the society. There was no successor sacramental bishop. If Lefebvre had died, I think the Society of St. Pius X would have died with him because the seminarians would have to go elsewhere. Okay, so I agree Dolan is right about this. You know, that the traditionalist communities wouldn't live without sacramental bishops. But what nobody explains to me is what is a sacramental bishop? But when Benedict removed the excommunications from uh, de Malare, uh, Williamson, de Galaretta, and Filet, uh, so that they might rejoin the uh, conciliar church, this society issued, um, uh, I would say, kind of a 
informational statement, which says in part, Consecrating a bishop without a papal mandate, which is what Lefebvre did in 88, would be a schismatic act if jurisdiction was given to the newly consecrated bishops. But Archbishop Lefebvre never did this. In other words, what they're saying is their bishops have no authority and made it clear that he was only consecrating sacramental bishops to perform such Episcopal duties in administering confirmations and ordaining priests. Again, what is a sacramental bishop? When I read this, uh, I forget what year the excommunications were lifted, but when I read this, I thought, all right, this is apparently an idea of traditionalism in general, that their bishops are sacramental bishops. So I thought about over a few cups of coffee. Therefore, their priests are sacramental priests. But what is a sacramental priest? What is a sacramental bishop? We know what they're not because they both state this clearly. They are, do not possess the office of like diocesan bishop or pastor of a parish. True, you will see someone claim to be, quote, pastor. But if you read their things, which I have read their things, and go deep down, they're not claiming to be a pastor. They're not claiming to be bishop of a diocese. Uh, in their technical stuff. But again, that stuff's buried, and let's face it, it takes people like me over a strong coffee to read this stuff. And I don't expect you to understand everything they're saying. But So that's why I'm pointing this out, and I'm ask, mainly I'm asking a question. What is a sacramental bishop? Personally, um, sacramental priests and bishops are what the quote independent movement has and by independent movement we're talking about uh, the old catholics that comes through utrecht uh, the duarte costa line which comes out of brazil from bishop duarte costa and i really still don't understand why he was excommunicated and i read the stuff way back and what's on the internet about Duarte Costa now was not on the internet when I first heard of this line way back uh, the year John Paul II died. Because right around the death of John Paul II, I became acquainted with a bishop in the Duarte Costa line. In fact, there was a priest from that, ordained by that very bishop, who works with me now. A very good priest. You can go on the podcast and hear his sermons. In any case, What's a sacramental priest and bishop? Because there are books I have on my shelf I've picked up over the years <clears throat> about what they call the ISM, or Independent Sacramental Movement. In my opinion, there's no difference between Lefebvreites, Tookites, Kellyites, Old Catholics, and Duarte Costa line. <coughs> they all have their sacramental priests and bishops. They all have no authority, although Old Catholics and Duarte Costa bishops usually set up what they call a jurisdiction. Whereas the traditionalists don't really set one up. Although the Society of St. Pius X and the CMRI are, have set up, quote, a jurisdiction of sorts. They are similar in their setup. Both were approved in the Conciliar Church and eventually broke with it. Schuchert founded a, his as a lay association before he's even ordained consecrated. I have never seen the CMRI claim to be an order. I've seen a sign that claims to be the order of St. Pius X, which it's not. It was an association of priests. I'd have to look up a, pi, a pious union, I think's the word. You can look it up online if you want to. But that's what the Society of St. Pius X is just a simple diocesan like pious union. It is not an order like the Franciscans. Although I have actually seen a picture of a sign in front of one of their mass centers, although they're now using the term churches. But sacramental priests and bishops operate mass centers because they have no authority to erect churches. Although I have seen pictures of uh, Filet actually consecrating a church and I believe it was in Phoenix. They built a new one down there. Okay, but so if anyone knows what a sacramental 
bishop is and therefore what a sacramental priest is? I'd really like to know. I hope you enjoyed your cup of coffee. You probably need a strong one for this. I know I've drunk a lot of coffee trying to figure this one out.